What is going on everybody? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to our Clash of Clans base here in Minecraft. As you can probably see, I've done a lot of work since the last time you saw this base. Uh, this whole second layer has com been completed and we've also nearly completed all of our Archer Towers. So I'm going to run you around the base and show you what is what and what is new. So let us go Barbarian King. Let's have a look at what is what. So coming out here is the first load. This is a cannon. Apparently, this is the best kind of looking cannon I could have possibly made. I think it's I think it's alright, as you can see. Like, if I'm looking at the cannon right now, it's got kind of the light gray and gold base. That, that was kind of goldy. Maybe actually this would look better. No, it wouldn't. I'm not, I'm not going to change it. Uh, it's got kind of the black stand, because it, it's kind of stood up, as you can see, uh, on these weird stands like that. And then it's got the bigger back and a smaller front that can just about shoot over. Actually, no, that's going to destroy this wall, but... Maybe that center bit should actually be like a, a gray of some sort. Um, just so it shows kind of a hole. I don't know if they have a hole actually. Am I looking? Do it, does it have a hole? Kind of has a hole. <laughs> so let's get like a, let's get like a dark gray. Uh, and we'll put that in there instead. There you go. So that is the cannon. Looking pretty sexy, I think. This is the air defense. Oh, also, guys, you can leave all your comments and suggestions on how to better things down below. Once I've completed the whole base, I'm actually going to go around and update some things uh, and make it as good looking as possible. So this is the air defense. As you can see, this is kind of the uh, this is the bucket in the center, uh, and then this is the the arm mechanism. It's really hard to make, but that's the best I could do. Uh, and these are the bits of fireworks sticking out the top. Pretty nice. This is the gold storage. The gold storage is actually a little bit bigger than all the other things. Uh, as you can see, it only it only comes in one, whereas these come in two. Uh, this is made out of gold and wet sponge. So from there, it actually looks pretty good. It looks like it's got gold in it. Um, it's got the base like this, and then it's got the side bits in the center, which I don't know what they are. I think they're meant to be like ladders or something, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so I put them as, as bits of sponge, which I thought worked quite well. Uh, we've got another wizard tower. We've got a space here for a level 13 archer tower. Uh, another air defense. Uh, that's another expo, the mortar, the wizard tower. This here is the uh, elixir. Is this dark elixir? Wait, no, this isn't Dark Elixir. This is the normal Elixir storage. Uh, so as you see, you've got the kind of stone base. It has these stone corners. Uh, it has a blue bottom because they actually do have a slightly blue tinged bottom with the Elixir in the middle here. Now, this one doesn't have much loot in it at all. Uh, when I do another one a little bit later on, I'm actually going to put a lot of loot in that one so it'll look different. And it's kind of its gut glass case. Obviously, you can't do it in... You can't make a circle case in Minecraft, so that's, that's the closest I could get. Uh, another air defense, another gold mine, another wizard tower, another air defense. This is the dark elixir. As you can see, it's darker in the center. Uh, it has kind of this base with buttons around it on the outside. And it has this uh, like yellowy gold rim, uh, which it actually does have as well. So check that out. That's I was quite happy with that. Man, I need to get rid of these bats. Please comment down below how to get rid of these stupid friggin' bats. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of this outer ring. If I come up a bit, you can see now we've got the whole of the center complete. We've got this outer ring completed. Uh, and now we are working our way on these. So this is a level 12 archer tower. Uh, you can see it's got the kind of flag bit that comes down there. I actually could put one of those uh, red... I could put a red banner down. Ooh, would that be... that? Let's see if that would look cooler, actually. Oh, that does actually look quite cool. I'm going to put that down as well. Should I change the back to, like, grey? Or I'll just leave it like that for now. So as you can see, yeah, it's got that. Uh, you can actually get inside these as well. Uh, I've made it so that we can go inside. It's got a nice door here that you can come into. Uh, and you can climb your way up the ladder and actually stand at the top of the arch tower. Because I thought you might as well use these things. Uh, and you can see it's just a little bit taller than everything else. So you can actually see over stuff. Because the arch tower should be uh, the tallest thing in the game. So today's episode, we are going to be building a level 13 arch tower which has very much the same look as uh, the level 12 ones, but it's got kind of a, a golden, bronzy center, which I thought this uh, chiseled redstone or this orange stained clay would look perfect for. So we're going to test them out uh, and see what, what is best. So let's uh, let's build this outside bit first. We're actually building the outside from gray wool, uh, because that is that is what it looks like. It's kind of a dark, dark color, and I actually really like the walls. I think the walls are, are like the best colors. So let's build this out. And build this one out as well. Boom, there we go. Uh, these go, how high do these go? These go like a few heights. I think these go like three. Oh, actually, did these go all the way up? So yeah, these go all the way up. Uh, it's actually a little bit of a different top on this one. So this should go up. If it goes up, I need to compare. One, two, three, and then we have two. 
of the other color. So we want to go up three, and then we want to go up two of the other color. So let's throw three of those up, like so. And then we want it to be a red center. So we want to have a red wool center. Should I take that off? Yeah, I'll take that off. We don't need that for this one. Uh, so then this goes up two. And this goes across as well. Like so. I'm just I'm just building it so I roughly know what I'm doing. Uh, and then we've got to build again this layer here. Alright, this is coming together nicely. Let's build this all up. Do do do. So yeah, if you have any better suggestions on how to do things like what to make, how to make it look nicer, uh, how to bring extra things into the world that might be really, really awesome and I have not thought about or not done or not even known about because I'm not exactly a Minecraft pro, please do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, you guys have told me some awesome things that I'm definitely planning on doing in the future. Uh, and I'd love to uh, my, date my base with it. Uh, I'm actually really happy that I'm doing it all by myself. I'm really impressed with myself. I've never really delved into Minecraft that much. So it's, it's a pretty impressive thing for me. I think, to be honest, the sandstone looks good. Yeah, I'm going to go with the sandstone. It does actually... Do we, have, do we get a darker red? Uh, I guess we could use clay. Let's see what the clay looks like compared... It does look a little bit different. All right, well, I'm going to use that then uh, as this kind of center gap because it is a little bit different. It's not tons different, uh, but it is just a tiny bit different. Have I done? I haven't done this one too high, have I? No, I have not because then we are going to use this at the top uh, to build the top of the fort because it's, it's a weird color. It's not gold. It's not yellow. It's not orange. It's kind of a bronzy color, and I think, to be honest, that, that looks quite good. That actually looks quite good. I, I'm happy with that, and then we've got the buttons. The buttons take a big part in this one. Uh, they actually kind of work as a... They kind of go like that all the way around. No, not there. There we go. They go all the way around like that. Which is kind of strange. I guess it kind of gives definition to the corners. And there we go. That is what the buttons look like. Uh, we now need to do some more... Oh, wait, we were using... We were going to use sandstone in the end, weren't we? Yeah. So we're going to build the rest of this with sandstone. I'm actually going to put the door in this one so we can access it. And then we're going to put that there. All right, sweet. So we now need a ladder to build up into the middle. These buildings are coming on nicely, guys. I am really happy with, with the progress we're making uh, on this base in general. And now, what do the tops of these ones look like? They actually look the same as the other ones. So they're just like a, a gray, gray wool with a slightly different center. So let's just... Ooh. Kind of want that on the... Wait, no, I don't want that on the same level. There we go. That is right. Build, 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 build. And then, should we do a... Is it like a lighter sensor? I think it is. I think it looks quite nice, actually, with a lighter sensor. So there we have it. That is a level... Uh, what level is this? Level 13 Arch Tower. Uh, built right there. It's got the door and everything. So we need to copy that and go build another one on the other side because I've got two uh, on opposite sides. So let's fly over there. And then once we've done that, we need to build more walls. The most depressing part of this is building the walls. Uh, I don't do it on camera, obviously, because it's really, really boring. Like, I'm just like, ugh, walls. They're just taking forever. Um, so I've got to build some more walls out. We're actually changing the walls as well soon because it will be level 7 walls, which is going to be quite interesting. So we get, a, I guess, a little bit of variety from that. Um, but but not exactly not exactly anything of interest. I can't build straight on top of it. Right, so that's going to look like that. So these went 3 up. Yeah, these went 3 up. And then I put red around the outside. Like so, and then we need the red wool uh, instead of that one. Do I take the gray away? Actually, I've used the door, so we don't need the door anymore. And then these go up two. Is that right? Yeah, these go up, these go up two now. And then I put kind of the red clay in, in between them all. So it, it looks really cool. I really like the definition. The little bits of difference, I think, make a bit big idea. Uh, a big load of difference. Like you guys have said some things need to be darker. Some things need to be lighter in the game. Like uh, a few of the items need to kind of change color. So I'll definitely look into that. All right. Sandstone it up, baby. There we go. Sandstone. And sandstone. 
And lots of you guys have also said you started building your bases because of this series. So uh, that's awesome that you guys are doing it. Make sure you send some of the images over to me on Twitter. Uh, it's ma uh, at master underscore of is my Twitter. So feel free to send them over and I'll have a good look at them and compare them. Because they'll all probably be way, way better than mine. And I'll be all like, oh. <laughs> but I don't know. You guys have said you really like these so far. Like you think it looks pretty good. And I, I, I have to agree with you. I'm very impressed with myself so far. Number one, that I'm putting all this time and effort into it. And it's actually kind of pulling off. So that's what that looks like. We now need a button. Uh, it's coming to night time as well, isn't it? Is that it? Oh, no. No, what? There we have it. I knew it was one of those. It had to be something like that. I'm learning Minecraft, guys, as we go along. As you can tell, it's, it's coming together nicely. All right, let's build all these around. And that should be oh, that completed. So there we go. Is that exactly the same? I haven't missed anything. That is another level 13 sniper or archer tower even built. We can now look over our army. We can look over our amazing, uh, our amazing base. Dun, dun, dun. Look at the base. It is looking amazing. We could probably do some parkour. Yeah, <laughs> and we can jump across everything. So I'm actually really happy with this, how this is coming, guys. Uh, make sure you tell me in the comment section what you think is going. Rate it out of 10, and please do give me any advice on what I could do to make it a little bit better. Oh, before I go, I have changed a couple of things. Um, you guys gave me some suggestions. There's actually two balloons on a red balloon, so that's been changed now. And these are now slightly springy. Uh, I did my best to make it work. These now do spring up a little bit. Uh, not quite like I wanted them to. Uh, but they do spring up a little bit, which is quite fun uh, when you walk on them, unless you walk like that. If you walk at an angle, you do get hit up and stuff. So it's all a bit, bit of fun, uh, and it makes everything just look a little bit better. Uh, my town hall luckily hasn't burnt down. As you can see, the inside here as well is still alive and fine, whereas this was burning before. So it is all looking pretty good. But until next time, guys, the Barbarian King needs to sleep here on his bed. I've just had sticky keys. No. We're okay. Uh, but until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.